Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can 3D model in the fastest way possible a 3D printable GoPro case in Fusion 360. In this case, you can store all your SD cards, your batteries and of course your main camera. Without any other hesitation, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly, let's go here to document settings and let's check. As you can see, the units are in millimeters and our drawing for today is also in millimeters, so everything is fine. I will go here to the create tab, new component and I will name it GoPro case, why not? And by the way, this is a case for GoPro 8. After that, let's start through a new cylinder. I will select this one, OK, and I will start just from the center and I will write the exterior diameter, which will be in our case 90 millimeters. And I will add now a thickness of 3 millimeters and then press enter. Now on this cylinder, we will create a new sketch. So right click, create sketch and we will use the project feature just to have this boundary. Once selected, OK. As you can see, now we have also the boundary, also the center. Inside, we will create the first rectangle. We will press R letter for a rectangle, but we will choose center rectangle. We'll start from the center and it will have the dimensions 67.3, tab 29.3. Now you can also delete those two diagonals and we will create two offsets. So first of all, select this line, offset, press the O letter or go here to the offset feature and right now 36.5. We will do the same thing here. So select this line, offset and we will go with 25.3. Inside here, we will create some radiuses. So we'll go to the fillet feature, the first radius here, it will be a radius of 1.2 millimeters. The other one, or the next one, again fillet, it will be 2.5. And for the other four radiuses, we will use two. So fillet, these two, number two, and we'll do the same for the other corners as well. Enter. Because we will use this geometry in order to create other sketch dimensions, we will block them. So we'll go to fix and fix feature, we'll select everything here, and as you can see, we have now the green color, which means our sketch is blocked right now. We'll move inside those, okay, just to have a better view, and now we'll create the other holes. As you already imagined, this will be the main hole for the camera, but now, we'll do another two holes for the batteries. In order to do that, we'll go again to the rectangle feature. So air letter, center rectangle again, but we will go again from the center. Drag down the mouse, remain at this green line, and let's create a rectangle with the dimensions 31.7, tab 11.6. As you can see, we are on the same line, and right now we need just to copy this one. So select it, press the M letter from move copy feature, create copy, and just drag it up. After that, we'll use the sketch dimension or press the D letter. Between this line and this one, we will have here 6 millimeters. And between this one and that one, we will have 8 millimeters. We have also those two spots specially designed for batteries. But now, let's include another four extra spaces for the SD cards. We will place them here in this area. So we'll create again another rectangle, so error letter again, and we'll have the dimensions 11.8 tab 1.1 millimeters. Right now we'll use the sketch dimension again, so press the D letter and from this line to this one we will have 2.9 millimeters and from this line to here we will have 2.7 millimeters. And now let's just copy it. So select the entire rectangle, press the M letter again, create copy, drag it in the right side, and first of all, we will write 
exactly the length, so 11.8. And now we'll write the dimension between those two rectangles, which in our case it will be again 2.7. So minus 11.8 minus 2.7. Select them again, move, create copy, drag it up with minus 1.1 minus 1.9. And this will be our final sketch. After that, we can press the Finish Sketch button. Let's extrude it. Select this one. And we'll go up with 40 millimeters. Of course, the operation, it will be joined because the first cylinder, it is our button. Join OK. And your drawing should look like this. After that, we need to add more thickness. Because, as you can imagine, we have different lengths for each part. For example, the camera itself, it will be the longest and then the batteries and then the cards. So we'll use the extrude feature again. So press the E letter from extrude. So select this one and this one. And now we'll go up with 13. Join, of course. And we'll do the same thing for the SD card slots. So extrude. Select those four profiles. And we'll go up with 30 millimeters. After that, we will create a new sketch on this surface on this time. Project, so press the P letter and select this circle. Enter. Now press the O letter, select this circle, drag it inside because we need to construct a parallel circle, minus 2.5 millimeters. Finish sketch. Extrude and go down and cut from it minus 10 millimeters or one centimeter. Go inside here to sketches, make the sketch number three visible again, extrude again, go down again with minus 10, but for this time instead of join, we'll have a new body and then press OK. Now you can make the sketch three invisible and the body number one invisible as well. Extrude again this one with 10 millimeters, one centimeter. And now on this tiny edge, we'll construct a new sketch. So create sketch, project again, select the entire profile, finish sketch, extrude. So press the E letter, select this profile and this profile, and we'll add basically the thickness, which in our case, it will be three as it was for the button part. Join, of course, okay. And now we have both bodies. Let's have a look. Go to the Inspect tab, Section Analyzes, and select a plane. For example, this one. And now you can clearly see. And now to be more pleasant to be touched, we will add two radiuses. So we'll go to the fillet, select this edge and this edge. We'll write here 4 and then press enter. And because we want to open it or to close it more easily, we will add here a small knurl. And we will do it in the easiest way possible. We'll go to the create tab, coil. We will select this surface, go exactly in the center. And right now we will write here the exterior diameter, which if you remember was 90 millimeters. Now we'll go up in the opposite direction and we'll write here revolution one, it's fine. Height, the total height, which in our case it will be minus 57 millimeters. Okay, section triangular internal, section inside, section size 1, and the operation of course it will be cut. And it should look like this, because it has only one revolution. Okay, we will do exactly, exactly the same feature, but something it will be different. Let me show you. Coil, same surface, same center, same diameter, same everything, minus 57, triangular internal, 1, but here we'll check the rotation button. Operation cut, OK, and it looks fine, but in order to multiply them, we'll go to the create pattern, circular pattern. And usually you'll check here bodies or components, but in our case it will be features. So we'll select these two coils, axes. If you cannot create one, you can work with the origin. 
So go to the origin, make it visible, zoom out, and select the blue one. I believe 6 works fine. Distribution will be full, 360 degrees, and then press OK. And the exterior body should look like this. And for our final touch of design, we will add here the logo. But how we can do it? I just open a Google tab, I wrote GoPro logo, I go to images, I select and download one image, and right after that, I went on this website and I chose my image and I convert it into SVG file. I upload it and now I will convert it. Oh, and by the way, this website is 100% free. And now I will download it. After you download it, you must create a new sketch, go on this part because here you want to be your logo, insert, go to the insert SVG. As you can see, we need to flip it. So flip it with 180 degrees in my case. You can also drag it, OK. And as you can see, now we have a vectorial format, three out of four rectangles. First of all, let's delete this edge. OK, now let's copy because as you can imagine, in this vectorial format, we cannot work like in a sketch that you manually construct. So select it, Control C, Control V or Command C, Command C for Mac users. Now this one you can delete it. And now let's copy this rectangle. Select it, M for move or copy, point to point, create copy, origin point, this one it will be, and this one it will be the other. OK. And our logo looks fine. Select it and let's place it over, move. But we have a little problem. As you can see, our logo is too big. So we'll go back and we will scale it. Select everything, press S key for sketch shortcuts, and now right here scale. But select the third one, sketch scale. Select a random point, and now let's write for example 0 0.55. Okay, and now let's place it over. And here it should look fine. And then press OK, finish sketch, and now let's extrude it. Select all these boundaries, all the letters, and all these rectangles, and we'll add a thickness of 1. But pay attention here, the operation, it will not be joined, it will be new body. And then press OK. Let's add the materials. So press the A letter from appearance, and let's write here, plastic black. OK, and for the others from the body 3 to 11, select body 3, hold the shift key and select body 11, we will write here plastic white. Press escape key. Another reason why you should create those profiles separately is because when you 3D print it, it is more easily to select other 3D filament than the initial one. And for the last step, we will add the metric thread. In order to do that, we will make the lost objects invisible. So select all of them, hold the shift key, press the V letter from visible, and now we will go to the create tab and we will choose thread option. Select this one, modeled, you can also choose full length, and it will be with the closest metric thread that you have on this diameter. In our case, 85 millimeters. And then you can press OK. The same thing we will do also with the other stuff as well. So make them visible again and make now body one invisible. Now we'll go to the same feature, thread, select this surface, but instead of full length, we will disable it and we'll make it just half. In our case, 10 millimeters. You will choose the same diameter, in our case 85 millimeters, and then you will press OK. And your product now is ready for printing. So let's 3D print it. I started the 3D printing and waited for the model to finish. After printing, I cleaned the model and then placed the camera, batteries and the SD card in the printed box in order to have a compact storage and provide safety for the camera. In this way, in the future trips, the camera along with all the accessories can be transported more easily, saving space in the luggage. 
I hope this video helped you. Learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.